Hey guys, welcome to Red 5 We are at the Detroit Auto Show where we've got this 2021 Mustang Mach 1 in beautiful fighter jet gray. It's one of those colors that you would think you wouldn't like because I'm not a huge fan of gray to be honest, but seeing it in person really does it for me. This one is obviously track focused, so you've got a very aggressive front face. So you've got this double chin splitter that we'll take a look at from the side. You'll see kind of like how it stacks up and how much further it sticks out than the regular Mustang GTs. Overall, we've got a revised front fascia compared to what you get in the 2018 and now the Mustang GTs. You obviously get these uh, fake headlights basically or the headlight closeout, out, kind of like the Boss 302, which I really dig. I think it's a nice throwback and looks very aggressive in the front. Now moving on the headlights, there's a standard 2018 and up Mustang GT headlights. You also get the standard fog lights and you got some cooling as well uh, right below the fog lights over there. Now moving on to the side profile of this Mustang Mach 1, you will see basically that uh, the, t the front splitter I just talked about. So if I pull up right here, you can see how much further it sticks out. I think the Mustang GT basically just has the top layer. This one has one on the bottom as well. And you also get like some side splitter as well to kind of protect it from rocks, I believe. Um, and then of course we got some interesting and unique graphics to the Mustang Mach 1. A lot of people are not huge fans of that. I personally like it because it gives you uh, a little bit more unique touch to your Mustang. It, it lets people know this is not your ordinary Mustang GT. So I, I kind of like these decals. I don't even know if you can get the Mustang Mach 1 without the decals or the factory stripes. You also have these stripes on the side as well as I pull over here. I'll show it to you. You get these, uh, as you can see, I don't know if you can really tell, but the side skirts over there also are a little bit more aggressive than what you get with the Mustang GT. So I kind of like, there's like subtle touches that Ford has done with this Mustang Mach 1 that really separate this one out. I love the wheel design on the Mustang Mach 1. This is a handling pack. So this is the wheel design you get. It's kind of like a matte gray finish. And I believe these are Michelin as well. You also get a side badging of Mach 1. So even though it is still a 5.0, you don't get a 5.0 badge in the Mustang Mach 1. You get a separate badge to really let people know this is one of the unique, more track focused Mustangs. It's not just Mustang GT. And here is the lower graphic that we talked about kind of going across the body over there with the black and orange highlights over there as well. Yeah, orange painted Brembos, which I think is a nice touch as well. Kind of goes in with the theme of the car because you got some orange accents throughout on these stripes and the decals and everywhere. I believe the tires are three of fives all around and I think they're 19 and 20, 19 inches, I, I believe. Now moving into the rear, this is one of my favorite parts of the Mustang Mach 1 compared to the regular Mustang GTs. You've got a massive spoiler, which is the same spoiler that can be found on GT500, not the carbon fiber one, just a regular GT500 spoiler. And we'll, we'll see it up close as well because the exhaust tips in these Mustang Mach 1, in my opinion, are actually better than the Shelby GT500 because these are chrome ones. I believe they're the same size as the GT500 ones, but you get the chrome ones, so they really are looking a little bit more premium and it looks a little bit more aggressive in my opinion. You've got the diffuser that is also borrowed from the GT500. This is not your ordinary Mustang GT. And of course you get the Mustang Mach 1 badging on the rear as well. So nothing here, basically even though it's a 5.0, nothing says GT or 5.0 on the exterior of the Mustang Mach 1. You've got Mustang Mach 1 exclusive badges to let people know that this is a unique Mustang. Here's a close up of the exhaust I said. Like this is a chrome one versus the GT500 is not a chrome one. So it's still similar size tips I want to say but it's not chrome and uh, here is the spoiler this one has a gurney flap attachment it's interesting this one actually has a matte black finish on here as well um, I've only seen them in gloss black so maybe it's because this is a handling pack this one gets a matte black finish I think overall Ford pretty much nailed it with the design of the Mustang Mach 1 it just looks very aggressive it retains some of the uh, basically Mustang GT's uh, body language, but it has so much unique parts in the front and the rear that it really sets it apart. You got a new wheel design, the spoiler itself, the front face is completely revised. So it really sets it out. If you see it on the road, you know it's not just a Mustang GT. With the Previously with the Performance Pack 2, which was also a track focused Mustang, you really had to know what you were looking for. For someone who's not a Mustang enthusiast, they probably wouldn't be able to tell if it's a regular Mustang GT or a Performance Pack 2. But here, 
four did it. You've got Mocklin badging everywhere. You've got the decals. You've got, you know, uh, basically a front splitter uh, that's completely redesigned. Front fascia that's completely redesigned, sorry. And then the spoiler and everything basically just looks completely different than a regular Mustang GT. So I really like it. Ford has really nailed it in terms of the design of this Mustang Mach 1. Now I want to hop into the interior of the Mustang Mach 1 just to kind of show you what they're offered uh, compared to the regular Mustang GT. Not much changes, but still there's some nice touches. You obviously get the Recaros for the Mustang Mach 1s. So as we said, this is a track-focused Mustang. You do have the option to get the regular seats as well, but this is a handling pack, which is why it's got the Recaros here. Uh, at the door sills, you get greeted by the Mach 1 as opposed to just the Mustang logo over there. So, and you got checker flag as well to really let you know this is a race inspired or track focused Mustang. So it's got the digital dash, which is also something you can get on the Mustang GTs. Uh, but the highlight of this is obviously, aside from the steering wheel and all of that, which is pretty much standard on the Mustang GTs. I mean, it's got a nice grip to it, nice feeling to it. You get two performance pack gauges uh, that are, that can be found with performance pack vehicles on the Mustang GTs. But it's kind of nice, you get that oil pressure in the back end gauge as well. And of course, the highlight is the Tremec manual transmission right here that you cannot get on the regular Mustang GT. I bet this is a, one of the few selling points to be able to get Mustang Mach 1. You also get your Mustang Mach 1 uh, build number over there as well. So your passenger really knows that this is one of these special vehicles and not your ordinary Mustang. Uh, aside from that, I mean, you got the standard Sync 3 screen, you got heated and ventilated seats, all the common stuff you kind of find in the Mustang. It just has like right amount of touches throughout the interior to really help you out. Yes, I mean Ford really knocked it out of the park with the designing of the Mustang Mach 1. I believe the last time we saw the Mustang Mach 1 was in 2003 and 2004, which also has some unique elements. The biggest one obviously being the shaker hood. I kind of wish Ford had brought back the shaker hood for the Mustang Mach 1. But I want to say it's probably due to regulation where Ford wasn't able to do a shaker hood for this. I mean, you got everything else that is very aggressive like we talked about the chin splitter the the graphics on the hood and the side overall it's got very unique touches so it would have been nice to i'm sure there's going to be some aftermarket uh, manufacturer that's going to probably implement the shaker hood on these mustangs and um, aside from that i think ford really has nailed down the styling of the mustang mach one of course differentiated from the rest of the mustang gt lineup and just have a you know, really track focused Mustang because this is, this is something you could daily drive and you can still take it to track on the weekends and still enjoy it. You still got some of your amenities like your heated steering wheel, you've got your heated and ventilated seats, and all the creature comforts you kind of expect from a Mustang at this point. But you also got some hardcore suspension stuff going on if you want to da uh, daily drive it and track it on the weekends so you kind of get the best of the both worlds. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video for the Mustang Mach 1 from the Detroit Auto Show. If you enjoyed it, make sure you smash that like button. Comment below what you think about the Mustang Mach 1 versus a Dark Horse. And of course, subscribe to Red 5.0 for more videos.